Hello everyone and welcome back to Comic Vantage and today we have something, oh I've been waiting to open this box. Oh I forgot to turn that light on. I've had this sitting here for, oh I don't even know, uh, probably four months. Oh it's been killing me not to open this box. We have another toy unboxing right here from Comic Vantage. So let me just break into this box. I want to show you what I got here. This is something I picked up on eBay. And this is one of those awesome third-party Transformers. Now, I mean, this was something I didn't realize was happening over the last, I don't even know how many years, but apparently third-party Transformers have just been completely exploding onto the scene. And, uh, man, it's like uh, companies are taking the, you know, the, 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 the smallest Transformers possible out there and even some of the bigger ones and recreating, like, masterpiece additions to them and giving them their own name. And I don't know how they're getting away with licensing on these things, but they obviously are. Uh, you know, they, just, they are just absolutely gorgeous. And one of those I have in this box right now. Now, they are all individually wrapped in bubble wrap because I opted for no packaging uh, just because it's saved on shipping. I did get order these out of China and now what these are supposed to be is these are supposed to be the Constructicons that form Devastator and this thing looks absolutely massive from what I'm seeing in the box. I mean, look at that. That's two different pieces right there. Okay, let me just pull all these guys out because, oh, I am so excited to get these things together. Woohoo! All right. Okay, uh, where the instructions go? Oh, yeah, here we go. Instruction manual! I am so excited. I absolutely adore Transformers. The Constructicons were so much fun as a kid. So we have each one of the booklets for all six of the Constructicons. So... Let's just start tearing these open and see what we got. Like I said, this thing is supposed to be absolutely massive once transformed. Uh, I'm going to keep the box close by for the trash. This is definitely going to go on. <laughs> God, look at this thing. Look at that. This is long haul. The, uh, the dump truck. Oh, man, that actually feels really good. Uh, I did not expect it to feel this good. We have ball and socket joints. Wow, this is impressive for a third-party transformer out of China. All right, so, ah, looks like we got Devastator's chest plate, although I will replace that with a proper Decepticon logo. Of course, they can't use those. Look at that. Raw. So who would this one? This one, I think this is Bone Crusher. Oh, you got a little chimney stack that goes up and down. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I paid $60 for this. Move the camera down a little bit so you guys can see all the good stuff on here. All right. Wow. <laughs> Looks like Hook and Mixmaster are in here. <laughs> Do you hear it? There's actually something in there making a rattling sound. <laughs> oh, yep, totally. That is Mixmaster. Oh, God, you can see him underneath there. So neat. Oh, here comes Hook. Look at that. What is this? It's actually a door that opens on Hook. I don't even know what to say. This is... This is so cool. <laughs> we got real working hydraulics there. All right, and then we got the last two. We should be looking at Scavenger and Scrapper, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 
All right, first up, we have Scrapper. Wow, so cool. Look at that. Man, these things are massive. Look at this. I cannot wait to see this thing in full Devastator mode. And there we go. Done. Scavenger. That's the last one. Mm, look at this. Oh, and all the accessories. Let's come on. Uh, accessories. <laughs> uh, can anyone out there tell that I love toys? chest plate and it looks like we got all kinds of ball and socket joints to make them fully posable i am just completely in shock we got weapons galore this is amazing i bet all these weapons attach to different places on the vehicles so beautiful. <laughs> oh, I, this is just, I love this. I, oh my, look at this. I don't even know what is happening. There is just so much stuff going on here. We got joints, amazing, amazing articulation. Look at this, each of the fingers. Can you see that? Look at that. That is just beautiful. We got ball and socket joints. So good. We got missiles that pivot out. I'm not even sure where the rest of this is supposed to go. There is so much stuff going on here. It looks like the hands open up and do something, and I have no idea what. I need to read these instructions, because there's another one. I, this is so cool. I mean, just from the size of that, you can just get an idea of how massive this thing is going to be once complete. Like I said, I grabbed this off of eBay. If I'm not mistaken, it ran me about 60 bucks. And so far, just looking at all this, so worth it. All right. So, instead of sitting here and having you guys watch me transform all these guys and try to figure this out, I am just going to clip this, rough cut, come back, fully transformed. Here we go. Okay, and we are back uh, through the, the, uh, the magic of television. We are completely transformed into robot mode for all of the dev or all of the Constructicons. Now, these things are absolutely gorgeous and wow, are they complicated. I gotta tell you, these are not kid friendly. I mean, it took me a, some, a decent amount of time to get these things transformed into their robot modes. Uh, they have a lot of little parts. There's a lot of hidden stuff. It's very cool, the amount of detail that went into this, but it really, like I said, it makes it not kid friendly. I need to replace all these logos with Decepticon logos. Uh, but oh God, they are just amazing. They are so cool, so intricate. Uh, the posability is just insane. Each of these guys, I mean, look at this. You have a foot that's actually on a ball and socket joint, so you can move it around. Uh, you have several different points of articulation in every single area. 
the hips, the waist, the knees. I mean, these things, they are really, really cool. And, you know, surprisingly, they do not feel cheap at all, which <laughs> is just crazy, uh, considering these are a third-party toy. Uh, as I was going through and looking at the instructions, it, it appears you actually use their weapons to put them together, so you don't lose any pieces when he's in... Uh, well, each one of the weapons actually stores on the robot when they are in vehicle mode, and then they actually are used to connect it all together when they make Devastator. So I am going to rough cut again and come back and show you Devastator. And now, after much blood, sweat, and tears, I present to you this incredibly monstrous Devastator. I can't even get the whole thing in frame. Just, here, let me just do this real quick. It stands 16 inches tall. This thing is a monster. It is totally a brick. It is so well put together. I mean, this thing is just the joints, the posability. It's, I, I don't even know where to begin. This thing is so awesome. I cannot wait to put that on display. And one thing I didn't notice or I didn't know about till I was actually putting it together, my little favorite part here, he has a little hatch on the back of his head. Come on, I can't get it. There it is. I don't know if you can see that. He has light up eyes. Yes, that is correct, the Devastator has incredibly awesome light up eyes. This was worth every penny. I mean, they, they made the waist shield here completely movable, so that way you can pose him. The chest plate here is, I mean, you can move it completely around wherever you want. Ultra posable. I, this thing is insane. I cannot recommend this enough. I'm so happy to have this. Wow. Although my wife is probably going to kill me when I put this on display because there is no hiding that. That is out there. Whew. So worth it. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching another one of my toy unboxing videos. Uh, I plan on doing a lot more of these. So if you guys like them, let me know in the comments down below. To my uh, subscribers, thank you guys so much. You're amazing. Hit the little CV if you're not subscribed. And think about signing up for my channel membership. You get cool icons and all kinds of other bonus stuff, shout outs at the end of my videos, all that kind of good stuff. And it's really cheap. It starts at like 99 cents for the lowest tier. All right, guys. Anyway, thank you for watching and take it easy.